So I'm all dressed up tonight because I just finished filming an episode of my series over on my main channel. Shameless plug, go ahead and check that out. It's called Something New, where I check out new artists, new acts, new things every week. Um, but today, we are going to watch a movie called Body Bags. And this is an anthology from the year I was born, 1993, featuring shorts from John Carpenter and Toby Hooper. Uh, this is also on Shudder for those of you who, for those of you who are interested in watching as well. I am going to go and take this off, get comfy, and we are going to start the movie. Alrighty, that's what we are looking for. Body bags. I am super excited. I really hope that this involves some really cheesy, uh, good old 90s body horror. Look at that. Look at that rating, guys. I hope this is good. This is going to be good. I believe Mark Hamill, this is going to be Tom Arnold, amazing. This is going to be great. John Carpenter presents. All right, let's talk about Body Bags, a made for TV horror anthology from 1993, which also happens to be the year that I was born. This one I wanted to add because it was directed by John Carpenter and Toby Hooper and has such a fun cameo by John Carpenter, but we'll get into that. Let's first talk about this cast because I was so surprised. I went in pretty much blind to this, so I was so surprised by the cast of this movie consisting of not only John Carpenter, but Stacey Keach, Debbie Harry, which is also Blondie, the lead singer of Blondie. Mark Hamill, who you guys would know from Star Wars, also voices the Joker in a lot of the animated Batman series. And model extraordinaire Twiggy. And we also get some pretty cool cameos by Sam Raimi and Wes Craven. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a mini synopsis. I'm gonna try and condense some information about all three shorts in this anthology. And then we'll get into things that I enjoyed and didn't enjoy about body bags. So, the overall arching theme that keeps everything together is a coroner, John Carpenter, introduces three stories about three bodies that he's currently working on. The first story is called The Gas Station, where a woman works one night at a gas station while being stalked by a serial killer on the loose. The second one is called Hair. This one is about a man receiving a botched hair transplant and he then becomes infested, but that's about as far as I'll go with that one because that one kind of shocked me a little bit. And then finally, the third one is called Eye. A baseball player loses an eye in an accident and receives a transplant only to be taken over by the Eye's previous owner, a murderous killer. So as I mentioned, John Carpenter, he really won my heart in this anthology. Just him, his character as the coroner was so just gruesomely funny and so just horribly gross at the same time and I loved it so much. So a few more things I really enjoyed about Body Bags. Like I mentioned, there was great cameos by horror legends. We do get some Sam Raimi, we do get some Wes Craven, and I think that was definitely welcomed in this one. These were fun, campy stories. I don't think they're meant to be taken all too seriously. Two of them did have to deal with implants, but I will get into that later on. But they were all exceptionally campy and fun. And that's what I enjoy sometimes. And finally, there was just a good use of effects. Even if the CGI was a little bit cheesy, like I said, I'm not taking this movie all too seriously. So those little wormy guys, I just thought they were hilarious. And I thought it was a good use of like, I don't know, comedic horror in this anthology. Cause it is really, a, it feels like a comedy horror in my opinion, for the most part. Things I didn't like about this movie though. I felt like I do feel with often, uh, my main complaint with anthologies is that they do drag a little bit too much. I feel like sometimes they just beat the dead horse a little bit with the story and they don't know where to cut it off um, to keep it scary and to keep it concise. And this one was a made for TV anthology so you would expect it to feel a little bit shorter. I don't know. I know it was made for TV. Um, wasn't Creepshow a TV? Wasn't that made for TV as well? Or am I just thinking of it being on Shutter now? And finally, hair was the weakest segment for me and it did have to do, 
and it was more or less because of the CGI wormies. Um, when you're dealing with more, when you're dealing with more practical effects and more um, like physical terror and scares, when you kind of like see a little bit of CGI, it, 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 for me, it takes me out of it a little bit, but I guess it was my least favorite for theme and execution. But let's get into ratings because I, let's talk. For storytelling, I'm giving this one a 9 out of 10, and that is just because John Carpenter told such a wonderful story throughout this movie. He was honestly fun, compelling, disgusting, and relatable at times. For scares, 5 out of 10, because it wasn't necessarily scary, it was just a good, campy, fun horror time. All of the scares, in my opinion, were more followed by humor and laughs, so that's why it only gets a 5. But here we go, let's talk about cohesiveness. This one gets a 7 out of 10 for cohesiveness, and that is because two of the three stories have to do with transplants. So if you think about it that way, the first story becomes disconnected. But whatever, it doesn't matter, John Carpenter kept it going all the way through. I'm a big fan of this one. My overall rating ends up being a 7 out of 10, but I think I'm going to go ahead and give it a 6.5. I liked it a lot, and it was a really good time. But I'm only giving it a six and a half because the John Carpenter bits were more exciting to me than the actual stories themselves. That sucks to say, but he did a really good job in this movie. So let me know if you agree with my rating. Let me know what you guys thought of Body Bags. Tomorrow's movie is The Mortuary Collection. That one is found on Shudder. I will see you then. Sayonara, spooky fam.